Hey everybody, today I've got this uh, 25,000 milliamp hour portable power bank that I bought on Amazon about a year and a half ago. And this is uh, the Ruipu brand, product 138 power bank, model 138. Uh, input 5 volts, 2 amps, output 5 volt, 2 amps. So this charger has uh, three outputs. It's got uh, two USB-A and one USB-C. Uh, this one is a 2 amp output and these are uh, 1 amp. Uh, they're all 5 volts and uh, it has served me well over the last year and a half. It can charge my uh, Samsung Galaxy phone at least six times. This side here is where the input goes for charging it and uh, you can just use your phone charger to uh, charge it. A regular 2 amp charger will take about 14 hours to charge it uh, fully from from like a 0 to 100%. I usually just leave it overnight. Uh, and then on this side, uh, there's a display button that turns on the display to show you how much charge you have left. So this, this uh, device is working great. Uh, the reason for this video is because there's a problem with the display. And I'm going to see if I can open it up and fix it. And uh, let me show you right now what that problem is. So if I want to see what the charge is on here, I push the button to turn the display on. And you see that? It doesn't show up. It's, it's, certain segments are missing. So if I push down, then it shows up. See that? It's 47% charged, but I have to fiddle around with it to get it to display it properly. So, I'm going to try to take this off and get in there and see what's going on with it. Alright, now we're going to try to take this apart by uh, putting something in here and popping the top off. Now, you got to be careful with these things. These have a couple of LiPo batteries in there, uh, this this kind of battery here, but a really, really big one. And uh, there's two of them, and they're sandwiched together. And then what they do is, this top piece, they, they glue the battery onto the top piece and the bottom piece. So if you pry this up too quickly, you could rip the battery apart and uh, you could... You could hurt yourself, actually, because these batteries are very powerful. All right, let's try to get this open here. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get the top out. It's right here. Let's try to pull it first. Oh, that was easy. Let's see if there's any glue in there. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little little bit of glue in there. Gotta be careful not to destroy the battery. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Let's see here. Yeah. See that? Something's wrong with this. So we're going to have to pull the, the whole thing out to look underneath this. Alright, so this thing here is very loose. I don't even know if it's soldered or what. But you see how it shakes? I'm thinking it's just plugged in and I could just pull it out. But I'm not I'm not really sure. You see that? Let's see what's in here. Okay. Uh -uh. I think it's soldered on this side. 
this side here. So we're going to have to pull the board out. So I'm going to start by pulling the, the board out. And then once the board is out, then I'm going to try to take the batteries out. All right, let's get these screws out. Let's use this, this one's magnetic. There we go. All right, this has to be pushed back a little bit. Let me see. There we go. We might even have to take the batteries out. Yeah, look at this. That's what I call crap. No wonder it's it's not working right. All right, we'll have to fix it. All right, now this battery can uh, deliver a large amount of current, so I'm gonna desolder it so we can work on that with the battery disconnected. Now I was gonna take the battery out, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna take it out completely because it's it's really uh, glued to the bottom so I don't want to ruin it uh, so we're just gonna fix this uh, right here and put it back together so let me uh, desolder that really quick yeah actually these wires are long enough I think I can just cut it like right here and then this side and then I'll, I'll have enough wire to solder them back on so here we go let's fix that all right, I think I'm going to start by uh, cleaning up this solder here where the battery was connected just to get that out of the way. So I'll use some flux. Good old Radio Shack. And I'll put some on my uh, uh, solder braid here and just get this solder out of here. That's good enough. I'm running out of solder braid. That uh, should be all right. Let's put a little more, more solder wick on this to get this piece out of here, this last bit. And there we go, nice and clean. And this one here. There we go. All right, let's turn it around and see what we can do on the back. Okay. All right, let me get some alcohol on it so I can clean it so I can see what the hell I'm doing because it looks pretty messed up. Let's see if I can get a close-up on that. Yeah, that's about as close as I could get. All right, let's see what's going on here. This one moves a little bit. Oh, there we go. See that one? See it move? That's the one. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to use a ton of flux and try to get those things in there. Okay, so we'll just put some flux on here. And we'll put some down here too. All right, here we go.
Yeah, kind of worked. Yep. Yeah. Let's do all of them. I think it's good. Let's put some more here. Let's see if it shakes. Nope, no more shaking. Is it all okay? Yep, no more shaking. So I think we got it. All right, let's clean it up. Let's use some alcohol. Okay, and yeah, let's brush the rest of it off. Should be all right. All right, let's get this battery back here into view. And let's prepare these wires so we can put them back. And then I'm going to actually measure the voltage because I want to see exactly what that is. All right, let's see here. Let's see what this battery is right now. Three point eight. So it's three point eight volts. All right, so what I'm going to do is hook up my power supply here and give it around 3.8 volts, and let's see if that works. All right, so I got my power supply, 3.5 volts. I'm going to turn it on. And let's push this button. 18%. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. Yep, we fixed it. No more problems. Let's put it back together. All right, let's put some flux on it so we can put some solder on these right here. And right here a little bit. Okay. All right, now let's put some solder on these pads here for the battery. Put it on thick like it was. Okay. That should be good. And now uh, let's tin the battery too. Do the <clears throat> negative first. <clears throat> kind of hard to do it with the camera here. That one's on. All right, let's do the positive side. Let's turn this a little bit that way. Okay. Yes, we know you're on. All right. That's it. see 
Yep, it's working. That's about it. We fixed it. All right, let's screw this back in. All right, that's it. Let's get the other side in. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's give it a good cleaning with alcohol before we put it in. All right, let's test it. There we go. It works. And it stays on. Okay, good. Now let's take this. And let's uh, clean the inside right here with alcohol. Okay. And let's put it back on. Here we go. It's working. Alrighty. Let's plug in my phone. And I'll go into the 2 amp port. Okay, it's charging my phone. And right here, you can see it says out 2 amps. It's not that bright, but. I can see it pretty good. Uh, let's try the other one. Okay, it's charging my phone, and this is out one amp. All right, it's working. That's it.